Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vimeo and it's time to review Vivozal V2s. These little bad boys were sent to me by eSyncClick for the purpose of the review. You can visit their website eSyncClick.co.uk, the link's down in the description. And there's also a link to my written review which is in a lot more detail than this. Check it out guys. So cracking straight on, these little beasts are 60.5 by 43 by 10 mil. They weigh a super heavy 35 grams, that was sarcasm, actually super light. A majorly impressive 370 milliamp hour battery. E-liquid capacity is 2 mil. They have a puff expectation of 4 to 500 puffs. That's 400 to 500, not 4 to 500. And all the flavours are 5%, that's 50 milligram nix volts. Making them not TPD compliant. The features is where it gets a bit more interesting it's got short circuit protection four second overtime vaping protection low voltage protection you can use them pretty much instantly as soon as you open the packet they come with an insulation sheet just on the bottom so you, you pull it out it's like when you buy a like electric watch or something you pull the cord out that basically stops you from wasting battery before it's used now here's the important bit this little beast has got two flavors one on this side one on this side this one's a classic, so it's got refreshing mint and American tobacco. Now that's impressive. So straight on with review, I don't know if you guys have watched it, but I did the D1 reviews a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they were from Vosel. There's some more flavours being added to this, there's three more flavours. Vanilla cream, ice latte and sweet strawberry. It's also lost the green apple, the green apple is not in these flavours. So let's have a look what comes in what. This one is the classic, you've got tobacco and you've got mint, menthol, mint, menthol. You've got the yummy which is vanilla cream and ice latte. Merry berries which is street, sweet strawberry and blueberry bomb. Which I must add is not the same blueberry bomb as I had in the D1s. It's not a menthol kick to it. And you've got the ice summer which is melon, melon and mango. LED indicator. When you finish on one pod, the light flashes on the bottom three times. When both pods are exhausted, both LEDs flash. As you can probably see, the indicator is inside the airflow. You've got a mouthpiece on either side, so if you want American tobacco, if you want mint, it's that simple. Really easy. I think they're really slick, look pretty darn cool. You just like the D1s to be fair, they don't look like the D1s, but they do look quite smart, just like the D1s. They do come with dust caps, now, obviously you can remove both at the same time, or you can leave them both in. But I tended, while I was in the, but while I was in the review, I tended to leave one in, so if I only wanted to be upon tobacco for example, I'd leave the mint in, and then when I finished, replace them, change them round. Now puff expectation, I did get my click counter out. And on average, we had 457 puffs per pod. So that is, on average, in between what those will recommend, which is pretty decent. However, in reality, the cool summer, ice summer, that only lasted for 329 puffs, so under par. The Yummy Blast lasted for 624, which is above what we expected. And the Merry Berry is straight on target with 420. So really, you had one that were undercut, one that overcut, and it brought it out to be a nice average. Do I trust the puff expectation of these? I'd say yeah, I reckon the one that it under, which was the isomer, was just one of one of the batches you do get. Every manufacturer, no matter what the manufacturing gets, ones that don't provide properly. And I think that is the case with the isomer. The D1s performed expectedly well, so... What are you gonna say? Let's talk about the flavours. Vanilla cream, cracking, not my kind of thing, but I can see how you'd like it. The iced latte was nice, but after, I don't know, 10 puffs, it started to taste different. The, the liquid stayed the same, it didn't, don't get me wrong, the liquid didn't change, but my perception of the flavour changed. So after using it again, leaving it for two hours and using it again, you got the original flavour back. But the only way I can describe the horrible flavour was like if you've ever had a latte and you have the last little bit and it tastes a bit fusty and horrible, 
that's what it tasted like. Not quite a great experience. The iced mango. Mangua, as they say in China. Loved it. Same as the D1s. It weren't too sweet, weren't too mangoy. It was perfect. Nice and refreshing with a menthol. The yeah, cool melon. Yet again, same as the D1s. Cracking. Perfect. Nice and refreshing with a menthol. Blue, blue bomb. I didn't like it. It is different to the D1s. The D1s had menthol in. I said it tastes like mouthwash. With the D2s, it's just. I'm sorry, it's not that problem, and I don't think blueberries are massively good flavour anyway, so you might like it more than me. Sweet strawberry, I don't like it, but it is a good flavour. I like strawberries, but I don't like strawberry sweets, and that tastes like strawberry sweets, obviously, sweet strawberry. Um, but there you go. And then last not but not least, we have got the refreshing mint. Which, like I said on the D1s, it's not mint, it's menthol. There's a difference. And we've got the American tobacco. Like some of the D1s, it tastes like a fag, cigar type thing. So well done. Something I did notice with the D2s is after puffing on it a little bit. It's not actually happening now. But usually you get, or sometimes you get a bit of a liquid excess around the mouthpiece or on your lips not a great user experience but it's not that much for you can do it <laughs> just, just a little bit I don't think that's top marks but other than that there's not actually any leakage so there you go guys don't forget for a more in-depth review go to my guys at EC Click where you can find my re written review there is a link to EC Click and a link to the written review down below it really is in more detail guys so go that way and check it out. Cheers, guys. So the winner of the Asgard RDA is CC. Thank you, CC. CC. Thank you, CC. I know you're a uh, devout follower of mine. Thank you so much. I love your comments. You're great, and I'm really happy you won it. I am now going to give away. Now this is where it gets a bit ropey for me. As I said before, the Vosel pods aren't. TPD compliant because it's 50 milligrams. So I'm still going to give them away. I've got one of each flavour. They're all going to go to one winner. But if you're in the UK, enter anyway. And if you win, by then I'll know the law on it. I might send it, I might not depend it. Then we'll pick another winner. But just go for it anyway. We'll see. We'll get there. Blah de blah. Um, there you go, guys. If you are entering, don't forget to subscribe and comment below to enter. Make sure you read the terms and conditions, you'll probably have to pay a postage. And this week, I'm going to be using the Aegis X kit by GeekVape. Another expensive, nice, beautiful mod kit for you all guys to win and review, because I know you come here for reviews, not for giveaways. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with using that and doing an unboxing. Meanwhile, don't forget to stay cloudy!